Vegas. 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 Artosa looked at me disapprovingly with my rhyme thing. I'm sorry, Artosa, <laughs> I failed you. In the upper right, we have... We have... Big <laughs> Xiumnyo. And in the bottom left, we have our Zerg player not playing so well. Hopefully, he can come back. He is... MVP Dong All right. DRG, All right. the pressure is on. Loses one more game here. And he drops down to Kode. And I think we're going to have a proxy, Artosis. It's looking like it. Looky, looky. Proxy 12 racks. Two all any. Well, he's DRG, saying he has second SCV ooh. now. DRG is actually. Uh, that location's good enough, lot, he man. might actually not find it, though. There is that possibility. But I've seen a few things proxy there recently, so I wouldn't be surprised if he does go past. Oh, oh my god! And he doesn't. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's good for Ryung. So this is, a, I believe it was a 12-13 Rax, uh, instead of like 11-11, let's say. So it's a little bit more smooth on the economy, a little yep. bit less aggressive. Uh, more likely he can transition out of it. Now, even though he doesn't see barracks, he may be like, wait, is there a quick command center? What's going on here? Mm, he has to look at the, that SCV count and then get it from that, basically. Right. And he did, because he started the pool immediately. Because if you think it's command center first, you really need to pull that fast. Mm -hmm. um, so, as you can see, DRG is undefeated on this map. Oh, when he selects it, yeah. That's why he selects it, so if someone else selects it, he's in <laughs> That's trouble. how you defeat DRG, you just choose that map. Yeah, because then he's, he's like, not 100% oh! to win. He might lose it. Alright, let's see what Ryung can get done with this stasis. Note the depots are being made so that there's a wall in case of a counterattack. And how many SCVs do you think he's going to bring? Um, so just I don't know, I, I think it depends. Yeah, he just sent one additional. So it looks like we're going to do a three SCV one here. This one's going to die. Or is it Artosis? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Boop. Five hit points, it better taste this. <laughs> All right, he's doing a lot of damage to these drones. Going to force a cancel. Nice. Well done. He started his spine crawler as well. DRG, I, he's not going to die Whoa, what's up this. with the bunker placement there? That's weird. Yeah, I think he's trying to lure the drones back, like a frantic Zerg might. Get scared of that, but since he already started spine crawler, there's no reason to be scared of that whatsoever. But he is gonna go. Or okay. he can just do this. Well, I mean, well, I guess that worked. The drone drill can be nice. Uh, I'm surprised he's committing so heavily with his spine about to finish. To be honest. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, well, and this attack uh, is over. Yeah, uh, but I. I mean, his spine was really almost finished when he decided to do that drone drill, and I understand that you want to reduce the number of Marines, because if they just continue to make Marines and you didn't kill off all the Marines at least once, then they can come back and kill spine crawlers and stuff, sure, but he gave quite a few drones for that as well, so I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not completely sold on it. Now, the barracks are in a kind of a weird position. So, I mean, it's going to be tough to reinforce this. We'll see how good his setter set micros in a second here. Nice from those uh, SCVs. Yeah, good call there. Some stutter step attacking going down. Okay, he holds this, no problem. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, exposed, so he can't go up there. Do you think he'll find another command center and then two gases? Well, I think he just assumes it's another command center. Yeah, uh, to even scout here, I'm like, well, I... You know I, what he's doing. Yeah, he doesn't see the command center, but he knows it's there. This was a two racks attack basis. I don't think we ever see anything different from the two racks no, attacks in this. Uh, you can, like, you can see a follow-up all in, but, like, all... It just really doesn't happen that much. Yeah, it's old. It's an old build, and, uh... This is just such a solid follow-up. Everyone does it, so... All right, so what do you want to see here from the Zerg? 
Uh, from DRG? I want to see him play his standard game, to be honest. I think that, uh, you know, let me take a look. Yeah, I think he can go into his pretty standard game from here and just, uh, you know, yeah. figure out what's going on. Uh, Why? Well, again, he knows what's going on, but... Uh, DRG, as as it was seen before, when he chooses his map, he doesn't lose, right? So yeah, sure. Why not? Just go play your standard game and try to pick up your win, because if he can't take one standard game on the, his map of choice off of Ryung, uh, I mean, well, he's already Then he out. doesn't deserve to be in Code S. Yeah. Like, what, what's the odds of getting past, you know? Oh, this is kind of an unusual little attack over here. That yeah, that's an interesting that's little push. That's kind of sneaky. He might be able to force a cancel on that hatchery. There's, yeah, there's no lings out. He's making six, he's making speed. Yeah, he's going to force a cancel. Very well done. Nice little uh, attack here by Young. You know, generally, the Terran players get um, more uh, defensive after that failed attack, and they don't mm -hmm. push out like that. And the result is that uh, occasionally you can catch a Zerg off guard, because most Zergs are not going to be attacking you know, unless they think they're being attacked. Most Terrans don't attack there. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Ryung looks like he's going to be going blue flame tasteless, which is uh, pretty neat indeed. Double factory with blue flame again. I really like that a lot. In fact, he's getting combat shields right away, and so we might see a marine blue flame hellion push. Great, uh, I dig it. Yeah, because you get to actually. I mean, it well, takes we're to see that. Yeah, combat shield to kill the combat shield marines, right? And then yeah. the blue flame adding the splash to the already ridiculous damage output of the marines. And there's no roach warren down there, Tosis. No, there's not. So this could be a very strong second push here from Ryan. Very strong indeed. And he can always go back into one of those attacks that we saw before. You know, he could do one of these streaming attacks off of three command centers. Where he's just marines and tanks, nothing else. Alright. More um, more and more marines coming out now. He, he is getting double eBay, so he's saying, uh, at least telling us, uh, that he's not confident that this is going to end the game. He's saying, I'm yeah. going to have to get that 1-1 one, one upgrade. Otherwise, he wouldn't be making eBays at all. Yeah, yeah. In, in fact, that just shows us that he's going into late game. This isn't even going to be like a plus one endless push, right? This is going to be right. I'm going to get an armory, this is going to go long. So, Blue Flame Combat Shields lining up here, Tasteless. It's just about time for this push to begin. Now, he wants to show the Hellions at the last possible second. Yeah, but at the same time, he doesn't want to lose his Marines, and he's not 100% sure Oh, smart what's out move there. here. Just get rid of that Overlord. Oh, he's going to get away. He better not, Tasteless, because then he's going to see the Hellions, and he does not. No! Oh, my God. No kidding. So he actually doesn't know about all these Hellions. Right? Oh, now he does. Okay. Well, at least he got a lot of links for it. Now, luckily, right. DRG does have a spine there, making a second one as well. He is making uh, actually even more than that. Mm -hmm. uh, elsewhere, too. Uh, 16 links on the way. More little counter attack in the third as well. Now, I don't think this is going to make him turn around. He's more than happy to just relocate that. Certainly. And here we go. All There's right, Marines. here we go. Trying to tank right now. The four queens coming up. Good by DRG so far. Oh, but he didn't have any energy for a transfusion there. Oh, wow, he backed out. Yeah, I Talk think about a conservative player here. I yeah, like that. I do too. He knew those bailings were going to finish. He wasn't 100% sure. Yeah, that turning this around is going to be effective. I like that. Turning around is braver than attacking. It is actually. And uh, nice. look at this. He just killed three active tumors. That's pretty strong. He's doing a good job right now. Well, Leung is sick, man. He's really impressing today, man. Yeah. Because like, when I saw him in his group last week. His, he was playing the last group, like group H or whatever it is, whatever's the last letter in the alphabet. And, um, you know, he, I, I looked at him like, uh, I just don't think Ryung is going to make it to the round of eight yeah. at all. I think he has no chance with this group of players. But tonight he's stepped it up to such a different level. I still think Curious will probably make it through, but he's playing well, fantastic. If he beats Curious, that's telling us a lot because the number yeah. of Zergs that are in this group, it's like, well, how many more Zergs can you take out? You just took out Curious, one of the best. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that was sick placement right there. Yeah, that was quite a little lure right there, Tasteless. Um, now, uh, we have him switching into Siege Tanks. Remember, we got a bunch of Hellions early on, so the Siege Tank count won't be tremendous. Yeah, but he does have the two facts, so he already has three. No, he's four out now, so he's he's keeping up with everything. I really, really appreciate this build that he's been doing with the double factory for Blue Flame. 
I think it's way cooler than Reactor Hellions. All you Zergs, I mean Terrans doing Reactor Hellions, get your act together. Use Step spell. it up. All right, he's coming out with tanks. Oh, he's going to do another attack here. He's really keeping the pressure on. This yeah. is more aggressive than I'm used to seeing in Young play. Oh, there's a hole here. He can get in. And that was very effective by DRG. Unfortunately, Leung did not finish that uh, wall in here. All right. It's pretty annoying, but he will catch them all. All right. Now, see, that's just to make him waste the scan. Well, it's not a waste, but, I mean, he can't he can't use oh, the mule now. So. It's better than whatever damage those would have done against the hill. Exactly. And there is a Ling left, so that's nice. Yeah, I don't know how he messed that up, man. He actually left one of those Lings there. <laughs> Could be slightly annoying later on. There's only one Ling. Um, so... Let's see here. Uh, for Infestors, we're about to have DRG at 7 and 2-2 two, two, uh, upgrades. Ryung behind on upgrades pretty significantly. He's got 2-2 two, two on the way, but with it finishing for DRG, uh, you got to admit that DRG has a very nice army, but yep. there's a lot of siege tanks now, here. He's in range of the hatchery, and look at that. Perfect defense here, too, from Ryung. He's already preempted uh, this counterattack, and it's going to get denied very easily. Mm -hmm. He even had a pro ling there, so I'm surprised he actually attacked into that. And the fourth right. base for DRG going to fall here. Yeah. No, he's going to try to save it, wow. it looks like, in the last second. Well, we'll see if he can actually do so. And actually, yes, it looks yeah, like he might be able to. I think so. Yeah, okay, because all the he does. Just barely so. Oh, but there's more it. reinforcements coming up over here. And, well... Those infested Actually, not very much, I think he is going to get the fourth, man. Yeah, he might. Just this endless uh, rally is coming in now, Tasis. And there's more on the way, too. But DRG doing a good job. He is bringing not a, a lot, lot of, of Infestor well. energy left. Oh, excuse me, those three over there. Yeah, those are three new ones, so that's going to help out a lot. Uh, but he's basically he's eliminated the siege tank, so that's really important. There's only two siege tanks out, only one in this frontal assault as well. Oh my god, that hatchery is so low on HP. He might even, yeah, I was going to say, just suicide the Marines in there. And peace. Yeah. Nicely done. That's rough. I don't even know if um, Ryung needs to hold this location. I think he should probably pack up and go away. But sometimes when you yeah. pack up and leave, that's when you get killed. You that's know? true. You have to be careful about your retreat. That like, is so true. I think I feel like sometimes when we see him take out the hatchery, if they have enough medivacs, pick up everything and leave. Mm. Now look at this, Ryung playing very positionally once again. He's actually taking his fourth, not in the normal fourth location, but over on this side so that he can, in fact, continue this push forward. Nice! Oh. Did you see that? That was sexy. That was really good. I was like, oh, that's Siege Tank's dead. Nope! Nope! Not Siege Ryung's. Tank does a backflip into the medevac. <laughs> it's never the medevac being fancy, always the unit. Yeah, man. It's poor medevacs. DRG now, he actually switching the side that he's going to take his fourth on. A good choice there. Yep, nice switch there. Yeah. Remember that DRG. Oh, we got a drop over here, and it's going to hit the spawning pool right before Adrenal Glands finish. Ah, oh, that's rough. Such a good upgrade. Oh, he won't. Uh, he, he gets it. Yeah. And that, yeah, that is just extremely and that's, annoying. That's going to trigger another push here. Zerg needs a lot of links right now. Looks like he may just go up and try to force a cancel on that, uh, what do you think is the fourth base? And, oh, he didn't see the greatest fire morphing. Getting the queen over here. The siege tanks should have uh, time to go into siege mode here. And he didn't even cancel that. Oh, wow, he's going to go all the way to the third. Okay. Well, he's got a really nice tank spread right here, but this is a lot of links. Luckily for him, they do not have adrenal glands. Yeah, no kidding. That would have changed everything. That would have certainly helped. And wow, the siege tank damage is too good once those links move in. Yeah, he's even got the plus one upgrade on there. I think he might just win this. Look at the supply, 188 yeah. to 136. Ryung just playing fantastically here. Uh, and it looks like um, these links are going to be pushed back. Damn, look at Ryung, man. Yeah. Well. Mm, Ryung just, he's looking oh, somewhere. The investors. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that's bad. Some nice fungals going down. In fact, he Looks might be like able to get these siege the tanks. You could probably park the siege tanks over here. Yeah, clog it up like that. Really nice. Damn, Ryung. I wish he would go back and kill those. I don't care if those are clogged up. Oh. 
Yeah, he, well, he, he should be getting the tanks because they're just they're too valuable. Yeah, and but, in fact he will. Ooh, a big misstep by Ramley. Yeah, Rianne. and there's more tanks coming up uh, just above there. There we are. But Ryung during all this has been setting up a planetary on the right. That's going to help him to stall out these brood lords. Uh, he is way behind on his Viking count. He's got four, but I believe he only has one starport. Oh, never mind. He has two. He always has two. Ryung, you're so good. All right. More Vikings out here now, driving back these brood lords. He puts up some infested Terrans in case the Vikings try to pursue the brood lords, but they will not. This is uh. Look at those infested Terrans, man. They're so brave. They're having an existential crisis right now. Like, <laughs> only 15 seconds of life. We thought we were the small arm. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Uh, a lot of Vikings in production, so that's not good for DRG because his economy can't really continue to produce a ton. Whoa, and the screen goes away. Uh, there it is. Whoop. Uh oh, I uh -oh. think. Uh oh. Legend is going to disconnect, it looks like. Did Legend disconnect? I Did Legend so. die? What if something happened to Legend? What if a missile hit Legend? I hope Legend is okay. Maybe a lightning bolt hit the studio. And hit Legend. And hit Legend, yes. All right. So, um, so we got our refs going over to the booths now. Yeah. And uh, actually, everything's okay. The everything's game's, the back. game's back in <gasps> there. Oh, my God. The most amazing thing. So many happened. battle cruisers. I didn't see them. Okay. We're back in the game. <laughs> And um, I feel like we're slowly going to watch DRG die. I mean, he's just... It's its definitely a possibility here. You know, he's... The thing is, when someone has Broodlords and Infestors out, you can't actually count them out yet. That is true. And I mean, this is, this is actually kind of a cool move. Doesn't quite get it done, but... And he's just process. doing a ton of damage to these drones. He's just spreading them out so they have to use more fungals. Mm -hmm. Well, he will clean up that drop at least. Still has uh, some mining going on. Scanning uh, now. But Ryung so good with his positional play as all the Broodlords he knows are up north. He has plenty of time to run in, snipe this hatchery, and get out. In fact, he'll even drop the main because everything's coming for his little army. Uh, that might not work, but it was a good idea. All right. Um, is he going to get that uh, hatch? Actually, no. Shot it. no, he doesn't. Okay, he I was going to say uh, that's actually pretty important. I feel like that was just a slight mistake there. All right, so let's see. The problem for DRG here, he doesn't really have the economy he wants. He has a good set of units, but Ryung is positioning himself so on the map, maneuvering, and in fact, yeah. going after this hatch oh, once again. Beautiful. We'll get it. That's the moment where you sack an army to get a was to he, get a hatch. Yeah, it was not that many Marines. Right, right. And uh, Brutalers going to appear. Now, the only thing that uh, right now DRG can hold is this base in the far left, or middle left, I should say, because yeah. it's the farthest spot for Ryung to push. And he keeps his Broodlords uh, hovering over that. But I don't know where else uh, DRG can expand. He's in a supply deficit. Yeah. It might be minor, but it's still a deficit. I feel like maybe shift your focus. Take top left. He has creep up on that high ground. Sure, still. I can, like that. He can maybe get some more tumors up there pretty soon before it dissipates. You know, try to shift that focus because he's trying to retake his third. And then that's a huge distance for his very slow army to actually, you know, cover. So I feel like he could do a better... better Positional usage against what he's facing here. Sure, sure. Which is like this unstoppable menace of being where he needs to be, which is Ryung. All right. Um, now uh, we see Ryung pushing. Now this is like one of these heavy power pushes. He's actually going to try to end this now. He's got a ton of Vikings. Yeah. He can spread them out. He's got 18 Vikings, but there are 17 Corruptors, so... With the seven infestors, that could oh, be enough. Oh, there's 17? Wow, I didn't realize there were that many. There are, but don't forget there's Marines out here. So, uh, and well, uh, those Marines doing a lot of damage right now. And he's taking all these Corruptors. Uh, and I think there's just too many Vikings, too many Marines. Which it's means eventually, like okay, that's going to be it. Uh, we will very well see GG here as DRG is about to be knocked out of the GSL Code S. That is right. He will be falling down. I believe it's round three of Code A? Yeah, yep. round three. Uh, so will the second last player, so GG. Whether you G -G. get last in this group in the round of 16 or second last, it doesn't really matter. You get the same round. Right, right.
Yeah, Ryung, some great, fantastic plays so far. Absolutely, today. yeah. But he has to face Curious, who did already beat him 2 1 in their last match. Oh, wow. DRG not happy about that. Yeah. That's right. High expectations, high hopes. He was ranked second. Well, well Rakus right now is ranked second in GSL, Codes. Now he's out of the round of 16 because, honestly, that's how good Codes is now. That's another champion gone. Yeah. So now we have life and Pult remaining for champions. I believe that's it in Codes. It's so weird. Yeah. It's so Very good chance we're going to have a new champion, which I doesn't normally so. happen. Normally MVP just wins. But yeah. this time, <laughs> normally someone from the LG normally team Normally this is a GSL wins. code MVP, but I guess yeah. it's not this mm -hmm. time. All right, we're going to go on to our final best of three uh, after this short break. So don't go anywhere.